checking in. And those of you who follow my channel know I have a difficult to clean gold pile. Well, I also have a difficult to clean silver pile. And, and I'm going to clean a lot of that. And I've noticed that these heat sinks, uh, heat spacers in these handles, uh, three of the pots have the same size uh, heat spacers, and I believe these are made of ivory in the handles. And I have kind of held these back because I, I just can't stand to uh, to scrap them. Give you a uh, an average weight on these, and you'll know what to deduct from your your buy prices if you get any of these big teapots in or. Uh, this smaller teapot, uh, it has them also, but they are considerably smaller. Uh, there again, I, I hate to uh, scrap that because it's so stylish. Uh, one ounce coins, uh, one ounce bullion. I know a lot of people collect those, and I don't know if you can see that, but this is a uh, O'Brien's Food and Spirits uh, $20 silver token. Uh, one ounce, nine nine nine. Now these were made in, I believe, two thousand four. And there's only, yeah, these these may have been made before that. I think these may have been made in uh, two thousand one. And I can tell you for a fact uh, that only twelve hundred of them exist on eBay. And of course, I've long since run out of the O'Brien's tokens and. Even here in my own town, I, I rarely see them. Uh, so if you ever do see any of those and you collect rare uh, bullion rounds, I'm sure that's one of the rarest. And this is two of the large ones and two of the small ones. So the average weight on those is going to be 5 grams each. So if you have uh, a teapot that comes in with, uh, with two of those in it, then you know you better sub subtract uh, 10 grams. I will keep these around to show a guy because I have a, a seller that brings in several of these a month and uh, I want to be able to show him right, what I found. Five grams a piece. So goodbye and all and that's uh, all I got for you for now.